Well, good morning. It's Monday morning. This is Necessary Food, and I'm reading from the book of Revelation chapter 1. In the first chapter, John is commissioned by the Lord Jesus Christ to write seven letters to seven churches in Asia Minor. And Jesus also gives an introduction of himself. Now remember what this book is. It's not the Revelations. It is the Revelation, the Apocalypse. And that doesn't mean the end of the world. Apocalypse means an unveiling. It is the unveiling of Jesus Christ. It is the revelation of Jesus Christ. That's what the last book of the Bible is. And so he is saying this is from Jesus Christ. In verse 5 he says, From Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. That's who Jesus is. He, he loved us. And He loved us so much that He washed us from our sins in His own blood. Listen, the only thing that can take away your sin is the blood of Jesus Christ. Your good deeds cannot take away your sin. Your social justice action cannot take away your sin. You cannot do one thing to try to offset something else that you have done. It must be the blood of Jesus Christ that washes us from our sin. And that's why His sacrifice is so precious. It's why it's so amazing. It's why it is so important for you and I to know Jesus. Because, well, I mean, think about what could be so horrible that the Lord Jesus would have to die? He is sinless. He's not like you and me. We have broken God's law. He never, ever did. And yet he had to die. And he did it willingly. He didn't have his life taken from him. He laid down his life for us. He goes on to say, uh, he says, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. <laughs> I love that verse. In that passage of Scripture, the Lord Jesus Christ declares to us that He is God. First of all, He says, I am Alpha and Omega. That's the first and the last letter of the Greek alphabet. It's like saying, I am the A and the Z. In other words, I know everything. I, I've been here from the beginning. I'll be here at the very end. I, I know everything. He, and then He goes ahead and sums it up. That, the beginning and the ending. He's the bookends of history. You and I, we live inside of time. But Jesus is outside of time. He, he was here in the beginning. He created it. He'll be here whenever He, he is brought it to its culmination. He says uh, <clears throat> that, that as He describes Himself, saith the Lord, which is, that means He is right now. Now that's interesting because he died on the cross. Well, you've got to remember that he's raised from the dead. So he is, and it says, and which was. Well, he has a, a, a past prior to the time that is now. And he always was. And then he says, and which is to come. This speaks of the eternality of the Lord Jesus Christ. The fact that there's never been a time that he wasn't. Not only is he the beginning and the ending, but... He, he is present at all times. And finally, he declares, I am the Almighty. The Almighty is a term that is reserved for God. It means almighty, all-powerful. And Jesus says that's who He is. He is omniscient. He knows everything. He is omnipresent. He's always been here. And He is everywhere at the same time. And He is omnipotent. He is all-powerful. This is who we worship. I pray that you and I start off this work week by worshiping the Lord Jesus Christ because He truly is worthy. God bless you. I hope you have a great day.